Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. What does that mean? (laughs) That means that right now you're on a journey. Right now you're doing something to change your life. If you're watching this, you're not just watching this just in your leisure time. You're watching this because you are trying to change something about your life, much like I am. Um, One of the most common mistakes I see with people who are trying to get healthy, they rush to force themselves into categories. Uh, One of the biggest examples right now is the paleo community. I agree with just about everything the paleo uh, diet suggests, other than the fact that people are so gung-ho about it that it's like, if you're not paleo, I don't want to talk to you. Like, it's one of those things where it's like almost like a cult. And why is that bad? Well, that's bad because these people are labeling themselves. So when I say success is not the key to happiness, happiness is the key to success, what I mean by that is you have to be happy if you're going to be successful. There are a lot of skinny, miserable people out there uh, who are following some kind of um, trend diet or... Uh, some kind of crazy workout that makes them miserable all day. And yeah, they have abs, but they're miserable. Uh, And there are also, you know, plenty of people out there who find themselves trapped because uh, they went to one person for advice. That person told them, this is exactly what you're supposed to eat. This is exactly what you're supposed to do. So do it. And it's not catered to them. So if you want to be successful in this journey, you have to be happy. So how do you be happy? Well, realize that what you're doing is for you. It's not for anybody else. And it's not to, you know, it shouldn't be to impress anybody else. It should be to make yourself feel better. It should be to make your life better longer. Um, So one thing I completely suggest that you do is, yes, talk to people. Talk to a lot of people. Talk to a lot of different people. And Pick something from everybody that you talk to or everybody that you read about uh, and cater that to your life. Build your own uh, system. Figure out things that work for you and make sure you're happy when you do them. Make sure they don't make you miserable. If you hate uh, lifting weights, then don't go do CrossFit. You know, don't do those kinds of things. You know, if you hate cardio, figure out a different way to get your heart rate up every single day. Um, If you hate kale, don't eat kale, eat something else, you know, cater this to you because the last thing that you want to do is get stuck. You do not want to get stuck in some crazy trend fad. You know, you want to make this thing work for you. So happiness is the key to success. So you have to be happy in this journey because you do not want to be trapped. One thing that I did, uh, to, to change things up was I was really gung ho about beach body workouts. I'm a beach body coach. And so I love beach body workouts, but I noticed that, you know, I, there were times when I had lulls, uh, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to work out. Uh, so what I did was every Thursday, instead of doing the required, uh, insanity workout, I went out and did something on my own. So i got outside. I enjoyed the weather. I, you know, um, I, I bought a kettlebell I did some running, did all of that stuff, and it made it a lot easier for me because I was catering it to me. Again, do this for you. This You're your own hero. Do not get caught up in the trends. Create your own journey, and you will be very successful. So be happy. The key to success is being happy. Um, and and you get there by by catering this process, this journey to you. So I highly recommend that. Do not get caught up in all this crap. Paleo people, I love you, but you're a cult. And uh, you need to relax a little bit. Um, And uh, yes, and do this this for you because this is all for you. Uh, So again, I'm in my car. I'm driving uh, to and from work. (laughs) So, uh, but I had to get something out there and just kind of let you guys know that because I am seeing a lot of um, people that are very gung-ho about what they do. And usually when there's somebody that is 100% all in on something, usually that something is a little overboard. So don't be that person. Okay? All right. Have a good day.